Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd say long time no see, but we've been uploading regularly, but it's not filming. <laughs> yeah, I think like, we do this. We uh, film a lot of videos and they sort of come out week by week. Yeah. But it, it takes a lot of time between us actually filming. So last time we filmed was before Christmas. So. I know. January has been a bit of a month and I, I'm sure you probably feel the same. But yeah. we're coming to the end. We've been paid now. But we're we're getting ready for February and hopefully yes. more fun stuff. Oh, what's going on with my blurry air? But <laughs> we are here today at the Natural History Museum of Oxford. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one because yeah. um, we did the one in Tring a few weeks back. Um, we was going to film it, but it was a, a bit too small, so yeah. uh, we decided not to. But I was a little bit disappointed because they didn't have dinosaurs. But yes. I'm heard, I've heard this one does, so I'm very intrigued to see the dinosaurs yes we're on we're on a hunt for some fossils and some dinosaurs yeah. um, and yeah we we thought we wanted to do this vlog because Oxford's about an hour drive from us yeah um, and realistically we're, we're saving up for lots of bits and bobs this year so we wanted to do something that's not going to cost a lot of money and the museum is free so yeah. we thought why not take why a not? drive down and get out of the house and get some fresh air and to be fair it's quite a nice day for it as well a bit chilly yeah. but shall we go in yeah let's go let's go yeah. can you see the dinosaurs rich yeah. what there's one right there I don't know. <laughs> uh a big one but well, you can't really see it in the light of the camera because it because it's beige and the, the building is beige it looks like it has hands. It does. Did you draw that, Richard? No, that's too good to me. <laughs> oh, they're actually painted on the tickets. Let me see if I can zoom it. Oh, sorry, you got my hand in. I love the pigeon. Look at that. Yeah, they're really cool. Wow. That's cool that is, I like that. Looks like this guy needs a wee. He does. Prince Darwin. Prince? Prince oh. Darwin, I was gonna say, you know that's Charles Darwin, don't you? <laughs> is this like Salvador Dali again? Not knowing that he's an artist <laughs> in Bruges. <laughs> <He's an artist. laughs> Didn't even notice all of these until I just turned around. What's this? Asian elephant. Oh wow, it's still big though, isn't it? Uh, I never thought of their feet like that. This, because obviously they're so big. What animal has the same feet as them? It's a hyrax. <laughs> Zoo facts. Oh. <laughs> Richard, did you know that these are? <laughs> no, they're all <laughs> fake. Sure. Look at this little fellow. The uh, shrew. Lemon. No. Oh, the shrew. The pygmy shrew. Uh, Wombat. Richard. Pretty Wombat. much same thing, right? Richard. Wombat. Wombat. Look the platypus. I like the platypus. It looks like it's happy. I mean, I'm sure it's not happy to be there, but. Sorry, say that again, Richard. I wasn't filming. And what did you think this was? A human skeleton. Hey, I got it. I think so. I was, uh... <laughs> a tiny person. Yeah, like, why have I got a tiny person in the, uh, the cage? What? Um, oh, look. I like that it's in Braille, and I think kids can bring in like pens and that and do transfers. And oh, yeah, should have bought cool. my colouring book. Yeah. But I, um, I did read on their website like so, like displays like this. You're allowed to touch. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why it's out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well. Oh, that's a tooth. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you know what one thing I've always wanted to see out in the wild is a badger. Yeah. All right. Wow, that's massive. A hippopotamus skull. A hippopotamus. That. <laughs> now you can understand why they're so dangerous. Look at that. Their jaws, their the tusks. Well, I assume these are plastic, but this this will be real. Yeah. But they're just sticky hand in there. Where's the grey seagull? Oh. 
Otter. Oh, How do they make models? This, this one? Richard, it's um, not a model. It is. We're going to have to explain this at the end because people are going to be watching this and thinking, what? Exactly. <laughs> What's he thinking about? Uh, he's not thinking about it, he's using tenokalesis. Tenokalesis? Tenokalesis. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to move things with his mind. So. Oh, what do you think he's moving? Uh, he thinks he's moving the dinosaurs. Oh, I think he's going to be sorely disappointed. No, you never know. Why is he holding his heart? Look. He's taking his own heart out and he's giving it to you. Happy Valentine's Day. I don't know. Harvey from down the road. <laughs> if you're watching this vlog, comment below. Harvey from down the road. <laughs> yeah. Do you want your heart back? He's giving it to you. Yeah, I know, but he would die. I'd rather he live. Not that I know who he is, but I don't need a heart. I've got two. We're in a place of education and we're talking nonsense. Oh. Whoa, hello. Crocodile. Can is you he, imagine is being he in denial? <laughs> <laughs> Existence is pain. Who's Maria Curry? Stop it. Are you joking? Yeah. Maria Curry. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> I really like. That rock. What is it? That is a nice boulder. Uh, <laughs> That's a nice Malachite? looking rock you got there. I think it's Malachite, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> what? Is this how they wash their rocks? Just chuck it in the uh, washing machine. Talcum powder to dry it up. Composed of talc. No, it's in the. Oh, how. Oh, that is talc. That rock next yeah. to it is talc. Yeah, all of these are uh, from the rocks, the minerals. That's so bizarre, isn't it? When you think about it. Like a cast is a. Uh, whatever that one is. Gypsum. <laughs> uh, is. Gypsum. Cement, dolomite, and. Fluorite, well, of course, toothpaste. Yeah. To the Pitts Rivers! Of artefacts. Yeah. Animal farts in the arts. You could subsist the farts, man. Farts in the arts. What I love about like, museums and um, just, excuse me, displays like this is this is all made by hand. Like, we live in the era of everything's made in machines. Yeah. And plastic and it, I don't know. It's all about quickness now, so. Yeah. Rare of it. You don't have the man made element. But can you imagine having that skill set to, like, look, even like the little intricate. No, I agree. I like the boats yeah. with these handmade boats. Oh, wow. It's just, it's just big. Yeah, it's detail on that. Makes you wonder how long it took to make it. Ages. Yeah. Yeah, what are these? I feel like I've read something about that. It's like a chewing I don't know if it's equipment. A fruit, but something similar gives you like a temporary high. Okay. You chew it. So, yeah, so you have it, you, I think you dip it in the lime or something. You do something with it and then you chew it. You don't swallow it, but it gives you like a. I think it gives you a bit of a buzz, but I think that, it's legal. That makes sense because right next to here we've got opium pipes. <laughs> opium pipes. I mean, I don't think opium is is legal now, right? Uh, no. Right, it says it. Opium is illegal narcotic. Oh, it's fancy though because they're all fan uh, oh. fancy, fancy sort of pipes. I like this one. The intricacy. And again, that was probably hand painted as well. Yeah. And then over here, you've got snuff boxes for your for your cocaine needs. Is it cocaine? Stuff no, it's, it's um. It's tobacco. Yeah. Yeah, tobacco. Oh, it says it says it. Yeah, but it could be yeah. fancy and have cocaine. Do we have to do like a, a, a contact warning because I'm talking about drugs. Well, it's not. Oh, no, it's it's uh, history, isn't it? 
Did you know that? The first electric tattoo machine was 1891. Wow. It's older oh, than I thought it would yeah. be. Yeah. Would you ever get a hand poked tattoo? Oh, I was literally going to ask you the same thing. I would, yeah. Uh, I'd quite like to. Obviously, I, couldn't, I don't think I could get a massive one, but... No, like... It would really hurt. I would yeah. like to, though, but obviously it's a lot yeah. different to that now. It's not... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but still, like, it's... But yeah, I would. Just look at them, mate. Especially when you had like massive back pieces. Exactly. Like, can you imagine the amount of time it would take to do something like this? Imagine just going. Yeah. Yeah. Is it it? Painted like a grappling hook. Oh wow. And then some spearheads. Do you know what? They look blunt, but I bet if that hit you with some force. Oh yeah, it would definitely hurt. How did you die? I got hit by a fancy spear. <laughs> Arrow, bar and arrows and crossbows. I mean, crossbows seem like a lot of work. They do. I've fired an arrow before. I mean, it was, did, it was the butt <laughs> I was going to say, where did it go? Did it go straight on the floor? It did. Yeah, it was all <laughs> It takes a lot of strength to do a bow and arrow. Now these are the interesting swords. I know, I like um, katanas and samurai swords. And there's a lot of work that goes into making them, don't they? It's like... Yeah, it's like even like the dragon design now, they've all been done by hand. I just find it really fascinating. I want a katana. Yeah, but you want like one from Demon's Slayer. Well, yeah, you're not going to get a, a professional one made. Oh, look, you can have little little daggers. Oh yeah, that'll do. Pocket dagger. Yeah. Does it feel like a relatively young person going to war? What was if you were, because obviously it's mostly men, well, it would have been, wouldn't it? If yeah. you were like a weak teenager. <laughs> well, you think, you've got a, you got a train and then, I guess there was uh, some instances where they weren't ready and... They stick them at the front? Pretty much. I don't want throwing knives, they are the worst choice in golden eye. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> They're rubbish. You need the golden gun. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks scary. Ha. <laughs> Samurai suits. Really small. Do you not think? Yeah. They're really, they're really yeah. Pretty, yeah. But then, I guess they're not really tall anyway. Wow, that's really fancy. Why has it got loads of like flowers in it? Yeah. It's still got to be fancy. I got another fancy pants one. There's a few here. Surely they're like. Did you like? Did people actually go out shooting with guns? Like, surely not. Maybe not to war, but maybe out like, uh, yeah, like hunting. So they seem too fancy because I think someone would steal your gun. <laughs> right, look at these uh, little, uh, little revolvers. I just have the little pistols. That's it. You got it's see, you can have small LE sized guns. I mean, they'll probably just dent you. They won't actually <laughs> penetrate. So I think we're heading out. Yeah, what are your, your thoughts on it? like it. It's in a really nice museum actually and you get a two for one because it's got the Pitts Museum in the back. No, I agree. I, I enjoyed this one because they had dinosaurs and that's my favourite part dinosaurs. of the, the uh, natural history museums. Yeah. Um, but I also liked, like Eddie said, there was another, another museum to the side of it or yeah. at the back of it. So I liked looking at the weapons and all the other sort of artefacts. Yeah. It, it was very much, I guess, from what you're going to see as a whistle-stop tour of both the museums because simply yeah. because you, you could be in ease, you could probably spend a day in each, especially the Pitts Museum, even though it's not as big spacious-wise as here, the, the, 
the cabinet's a chock a block and there's so much to read and again we're very visual people but we we just like to find what we find interesting for example the weapons dinosaurs yeah, yeah. but i will say and you've probably noticed <laughs> richard is adamant that the animals are not real he's but, but they're not they're not you, you tell us in the comments below they they're they are real and I, it's a funny story for me because we've been to a few natural history museums and Richard was always happy to go to them until we went to one a few years ago in Vienna and I think I'd made a comment because they were, all the animals are pretty much taxidermy I think it will say if it's a model um, and Richard was like what? and I was like they're real Richard and since then like you're just absolutely horrified to step foot in these uh, I, I will not accept that they're real <laughs> they're all models to me they're yeah, real, and you know it is. It, it is a good collection of uh, fake animals, taxidermy animals. But I mean, it's it's like telling you that um, Santa's not real. It sort of <laughs> it destroys your childhood. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we've yeah. had a very nice time. Um, we did spend twelve pound fifty on parking, yeah. but there is a parking ride for Oxford, so that was. There's plenty of them just around outside the city limits, but we ended up driving past it and the traffic was so bad, we're like, we're just gonna park. Yeah. Um, but I think next time we would use the park and ride. And it's, yeah. I think it's two pounds to park and then five pound 50 for a couple, or six pound 80 for parking and bus for a family of like up to five to so two adults and up to three kids. Yeah. So I'm calling this a win in terms of it being a cheap day out because the museums are free and there are museums nearby as well that are well, exactly. free. Exactly. You can make a day of it, unfortunately, Definitely. with the traffic, we just got here a bit later than we <laughs> would have liked, so. Yeah, but, but I think we'd come again. Yeah. Um, and I think the glory of it, apart from the traffic, it is only an hour away, so. No, I agree. Yeah. But I think on that note, we're gonna uh, finish here. And drive home. And we'll see you next time. See you later, bye-bye.